What's up guys? It's Allison Pierce with Potomac CrossFit and the Humble Gourmand. Just here with Tucker and McCree. There he is. And Maddie. She's not quite as interested in this uh, video process. I'm getting a little bit of stink eye from her. but So we're just here to give you a quick tour of our paleo kitchen. What's in here besides uh, Basset Hounds, of course. We've got about 60 paleo challengers right now at PCF duking it out. They're in week number two. Hope you guys are rocking. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick tour and let you know what's in the fridge. Um, so let's see. We'll start right at the top, and apologies for my shaky camera work. Um, we've got some farm fresh eggs. We always have a couple dozen of those. Uh, those are the ones that you see for sale in the back of the box for four bucks each. Um, really, really good stuff. Uh, we got some meat defrosting to cook up for this week. We've got a, let's see, that's three pork chops back there in the back. We like to cook a whole bunch of those at once just so we've got the leftovers. Um, some plain pork sausage here that's really good, uh, scrambled up like in a pan with salt and pepper. That's actually probably going to end up with these greens over here in some sausage and mixed green soup. The recipe for that is on the website. Um, got some chorizo there. That stuff is fantastic. We eat it for breakfast a lot. Uh, and then two pounds of ground beef and a pound of ground veal. That'll probably end up in meatballs or something like that later this week. Um, down here at the bottom, we've got some goat shoulder. Liz and I are actually giving a goat farmer a try for you guys, doing a little road testing. Uh, and if you, if we like him, we're gonna see uh, some goat in the store pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. Um, also got something else hiding back here. It's a lamb shank. Haven't decided quite how I'm gonna cook that one yet, but probably stew that up for dinner later this week. Uh, on the middle shelf here. Got some sausage left over from breakfast this morning, some sun-dried tomatoes, garlic hanging out in the back there, uh, some chopped up yellow onion, blueberries, uh, and a little bit of roasted sweet potato. I roasted and peeled those and just kind of shoved them in there and probably mash them up for dinner later tonight. These greens are from Even Star Farm. They're from the CSA. That's uh, Community Supported Agriculture. Um, you may have seen people picking up their boxes of produce in the back of the gym. That's what that program is all about. You basically pay up front and get to pick up a box for uh, 10 to 12 weeks of the season. So if you're ever interested in that program, please let me know. They usually have a few open slots each, uh, each season. It's really phenomenal produce. Um, we've got some drinks here. Still water, sparkling, club soda. We hide all the limes and the lemons back down there for drinks. A little bit of wine. No big deal. Uh, let's check out this veggie drawers. Got some rosemary. Actually, I have a lot of rosemary. If anybody needs rosemary, let me know. Um, got a lot of that there. Got some romaine hearts here for salad. Uh, and a little bit of emergency backup butter, just in case. Um, and then the other veggie drawer here, I've got some celery. We like to keep uh, celery and lemons on hand all the time so we can mix them with canned tuna. It's a really good sort of last minute meal when there's nothing else in the house. Uh, leeks, my favorite vegetable, sauteed with butter. They are phenomenal. A uh, little scallion down there. Looks like we got some fresh parsley down here and a couple bags of these like ready to go green beans. They're already trimmed and washed. You get to just sort of um, throw them in a pot, throw them in a pan when you get home from work really easy. Uh, and then in the door here, got the cooking fats up here on top, some pork lard, some unsalted butter, a little half a lemon back there. Um, we sell both of those things in the store. They're really good paleo cooking fats. We've got some uh, mustard here, mayo, a little potox, mango chutney. That's a nice condiment sometimes. More mustard, Tucker licking the fridge. <laughs> Thank you, Tucker. Uh, a little more butter, got butter everywhere. Uh, some hot sauce, that sriracha is the best sun-dried tomatoes, and of course the ubiquitous fish oil. Got lots of that. Um, so that just about does it for the fridge. I think that's everything. Tucker's going to make sure that everything passes inspection while I show you some spices over here. Um, so we've got a pretty good full spice cabinet. You want to make sure you got a lot of options so that you can keep yourself from getting bored. Uh, we've got some cayenne, some sesame seeds. We've got a really good Cajun rub here that I love. It's got some paprika and cumin in it, oregano, uh, onion powder back there, coriander, lots of black pepper. Uh, and then on the top there, we got cinnamon, black sea salt, ground pepper, uh, and lots of herbal tea. That's always good to have around. Uh, we'll just swing around over here to the pantry. Um, and in here, we usually keep most of the cooking fat, the oils. Um, vinegars, that kind of thing on this bottom shelf here. 
We got the Barrio olive oil, which we buy from Costco. It's a really good deal, and it's one of the best quality ones you can get. Um, more sriracha. Got some sherry wine vinegar. Got some coconut oil hanging out back there in the jar. Uh, a little bit of roast garlic infused olive oil. That's really nice when you kind of finish a dish with that. A couple kinds of balsamic vinegar. Uh, some red and green Thai curry paste. And there's some sesame oil. That's really good if you're trying to do some Asian veggies. Love that stuff. And I think there's some like red wine, white wine vinegar back there as well. So lots of options um, to sort of flavor up your food. We got some raw honey on the next shelf. That's for when we occasionally do some like paleo brownies. Liz got, has a great recipe for that. Um, Sun-dried tomatoes, tomato paste, canned tomatoes. I really like to have those on hand, especially in the winter when the tomatoes that you get at the grocery store are just absolute crap. Um, we got some dried mushrooms from Trader Joe's. Again, the tuna, always got some of that on hand. Chilies and adobo. And I like to keep a couple quarts of chicken stock uh, on hand for throwing in the crock pot or into the oven with some meat. I really like that Swanson brand. It's definitely got the best flavor of any of the prepared ones on the market. A little sun butter hiding back here. That's good for a treat. A little backup ketchup, soy sauce, hot sauce. And then up here on the top shelf, we've got some snacks. We've got pumpkin seeds, almonds, sunflower seeds, more almonds, a little bit of coconut flour back here. That we get from Tropical Traditions, which is a really good online uh, source for things like that. If you're trying to do a little paleo baking, which Again, we want you guys to think about using sparingly, if at all, during the Paleo Challenge, but it's good for a treat every once in a while after you get done with your five weeks. Uh, and then we got some coconut milk, a couple different brands. Uh, I, I like them all, so uh, a little bit of satay peanut sauce, which is really good with chicken. So that's about it for the pantry there. We'll just swing over. Last place where we keep some stuff is the table. I like to keep all the fresh stuff out so I know what I have and I don't forget about it. Uh, we've got some gorgeous sweet potatoes. Those are from that Eden Star Farm CSA. Gonna probably roast those up, make a sweet potato casserole uh, later this week. Got some bananas, rapidly going bad. Uh, we got some red peppers and avocados. I was thinking later tonight I'd probably make some guacamole and uh, dip some red peppers in it. Got tons of garlic, always. More blueberries and those aforementioned crappy grocery store tomatoes. So. That's pretty much it from our Paleo Kitchen to yours. Hope the challenge is going really well for you guys. Good luck, and we'll see you soon.